Yo, what's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. You already know what to do, man. If you're here and this is your first time here, um, this is Juan Motivates. And on here, I like to show you guys, uh, or give you information on the medical field. Uh, mostly radiology because that's what I specialize in. You know, I've been a radiology tech for 12 years. Um, ART certified in x-ray and CT, bachelor's degree in management. Um, just a little bit of everything. So, um, and in barber school at the moment, <laughs> you know, so I do everything because... I, you know, I enjoy learning, to be honest, and I enjoy having uh, different sources of making revenue. And I'm the kind of person that gets bored kind of easy, you know, so it's like I like to have options on doing different things. That's just me. Everybody's different, and I understand that. Um, so anyway, if you like that content and you came to the right spot, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell, like, share. You know, there's a lot of people that need this information that don't know it. So, um, it'll be really, really grateful if you share my, you know, my channel, my videos with friends, family, um, just other social media people that you probably don't know that you're friends with on, you know, Instagram, whatever the case may be. Um, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So today I'm going to give you six skills needed to become a good radiology technologist. Um, so you know, you're not going to know all these skills like right away. But these are six skills that you're going to eventually have to get better at to learn, to be able to be like, you know what, I can go handle a trauma center, I can go do this, I can go work in different places and not get like nervous and scared to leave. Um, so these are very, very important to learn and to know in order to grow. Um, all that rhyme, right? In order to know to grow. I don't know what I just said, but it sounded kind of cool. <laughs> anyway, so the first skill, which is this. Yes, it's an examination skill. Now, what we mean by examination skill is, um, are you taking a good quality x-ray, like a good image? Um, examination skill is like, if the doctor tells you to go do a chest x-ray and you come back with a rib x-ray, it's like, you know, so you have to know what you're examining. You have to know um, how to collimate, you know, because you, you don't want to, just for instance, you know, you don't want to do a, a foot you know, and include half of the, the leg and the foot together, you know, that's just way over exposure, you know. So you have to get good at your skills as far as um, examination skills. And you will learn that as a student in the clinical rotations, um, your text will teach you that. So take note and try to master it as much as you can. Um, the second one will be a communication skill. And trust me, it doesn't matter how long of a tech you've been, communication is always one of those keys that are so hard to be consistent with. You know, it's just got, it's just kind of like um, I don't know, it's just one of those things that it's hard to to have everybody on board and every shift, um, and it's hard. You know, so for instance, when we say communications, it's not just communicate each other. Uh, but also, how do you communicate your notes, you know, whenever you're, um, so we use Epic where I work. So, you know, how do you communicate to a doctor, oh, you know, patients here complains of chest pain um, every time he takes a dip, deep breath in or whatever, you know, just, just very detailed. That's communication. So that means that the radiologist is going to, he knows what to look for in a chest x-ray whenever you send it to him because you communicated well with him. Um, communication is how do you communicate with your manager like you went up to do four portables and you only did three you have to communicate why didn't you do this one? Oh, because patient was it wasn't ready patient said I had to come back whatever you know you tell your supervisor that communication like that you know communication to the point that whenever first shift leaves which is 7 to 3 30 and at 3 the second the, the second sh you know the second day crew or evening crew comes in communicating is like oh there's two OR cases up there because you know, the OR is running late, or we didn't do these portables upstairs because the nurse said the patient wasn't ready. Communication, that's something that's so, so vital in any, anything, no matter where you work at, whether it's radiology, whether it's business, whether it's a teacher, it doesn't matter. Communication is something that we all need to work on, you know? Um, so that's a very, very big skill that we guys, uh, us as anybody in a professional career, anybody that has a job period, very very important to you know get better at communication so the third one is your computer skills and what we mean by computer skills is basically like you have to understand you have to and like I said you're gonna learn on a job or as a student 
Um, but you have to learn how all the networks and all the software works together. You know, uh, for, for instance, you go to Epic, you know, you go to Epic, you have to cross the patient over, that way the paper, the requisition could print out and you know where you're going. It tells you your room number, the name, the date of birth, make sure you check all that with the patient, make sure you're doing the correct patient at that. Um, and then that software talks to PACS, which is where your images are sent. That way the radiologist can read it, you know, and look at the image and see what you did. So you have to get, I'm not saying you have to go to school and be an IT tech. No, nothing like that. But it don't hurt. But at the same time, it's like you just had to pay attention to detail, attention to how everything works, you know. And like I said, you'll learn that on the job as a student. I wouldn't worry too much about that, but once you get to that point, take notes, do whatever I had to do because it's super vital. And especially if you work by yourself. Say you get a your first job is gonna be overnight by yourself. You know, you'll be like, Oh, I need to really know how everything works because I can't call nobody, you know. So it's very, very important. Um, number four is uh medical knowledge. And what we mean by medical knowledge, um, and like I said, you'll learn this on on as a student is um, you gotta know anatomy. Like I said, you have to know if the doctor tells you to go do a x-ray of the um, shoulder and you come back with the humerus or vice versa, you have to know your anatomy. Um, you have to know whenever you go do a, you know, a portable x-ray, say in the ER, and they're connected to O2 or they're connected to the IV lines or the poles are hanging or whatever, you have to be mindful that you can't pull those cords out. You can't pull those lines, they're not cords. You can't pull the lines out. You gotta make sure where your, all your IVs are at, that way you don't pull them. Um, just little things you have to understand, that way you don't hurt a patient, you know? Or, you know, sometimes you gotta go to CCU and these patients have like um, brain, you know, brain drainages and, and they have um, IVs everywhere, you know? They have, um, it just, it's everywhere, so when you, you know, move the patient, you have to be really delicate and move the patient slowly. That's why you always take help to do portables, especially CCU, because 99% of the patients are like, they're really bad shape. So you have to be really, really careful with them. Um, and that's it, you have to be careful. And that's what we mean by medical knowledge, but you'll learn that, you know, once you go to clinicals and, you know, and that just, it, it'll be scary. Cause you're like, oh man, these, you see these patients with, you know, oxygen, you tubes everywhere and you're like, <gasps> but you can, you won't hurt them. You just have to be careful, that's it. Um, and the next one will be, well, I'll leave down for last. Um, the next one will be technology, technologic skills. And what we mean by that is like, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to, um, trying to get it out, calibrate the machine, calibrate the portable machine, make sure that it's throwing, it's spitting out good quality images, you know, um, that's important. You have to make sure that when the images don't look right and you're like, wait, I did a, I just throw anatomy out there, I did a foot, but I have this little artifacts in there. Like, what is that? You don't want to send that to the radiologist because the radiologist gonna be like, there's artifact, you know what I'm saying? Like, he'll yell at you. So you have to make sure and you have to know when something is wrong, you know? Um, you never want to send a radiologist a image that you yourself know it's wrong, you know, because then you really look bad and you, you know, you can't get in trouble for it, you know, so know when your machine is not working properly. Um, so that's what we mean by that. So you have to make sure that you know what you're doing and you know what to look out for. Um, the sixth one, the last one is super important and that's something that, you know, you'll see some people lack at times and it's safety. You have to have safety, a safety skill. You know, um, so radiology, you're messing, you, you, you're giving out doses of radiation, you know, and radiation is nothing to play with. Um, it can cause cancer when you are not doing it properly. It can, it can cause cancer if you over penetrating the patient. Um, so it can, you know, so you have to be super careful. You know, uh, times, distance, shielding, you know, all those three things are there for a reason. You know, you have the, the time you're in there, you know, sometimes you can't help it. You know, whenever you, you know, you're in a floral case and you're doing, you know, lumbar puncture, you're doing, you know, something of that nature, you can't help it. Sometimes you go upstairs and you go to the OR and they're doing a super D for the Bronx and they're like, yeah, floral, 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 you're in there for floral in like 15 minutes straight and you're like, it's a lot, you know, you, you can't help it sometimes. But if you have your shielding on, you have your thyroid shield, your body shield, you know, you're, you're pretty much protected. You know, but it's very important. So safety is a really, really big deal in radiology because um, you are dealing with radiation. 
Um, so yeah, those are the six skills that you will need to know, you will learn as you go through school and you become a tech. And uh, just something to look out, look for, something to look forward to, and you know, to research ahead of time before you even start a program to make sure it's something even you want to do. You know, you might not want to put up all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? But um, hey guys, as always, uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you guys and